What is up guys, Dan for the Zam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna discuss quarters coverage and some motion slash formation things that are a little bit wonky that I think you guys should be aware of. But before we get into the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zam Madden YouTube channel. If you guys would like to take your game to the next level in Madden 21, check out my strategy site, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we take a look at the meta, or the most effective tactics available, being used by pro players in the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online play. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. So head over to GridironGamePlans.gg, $9.95 per month, unlocks the entire website and you can opt out at any time. Okay guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're gonna discuss some wonky coverage rules that I've been noticing in quarters coverage over the last month or so. Um, in fact, the last time I played in Friday Night Football, I played against Ice from the TNC crew, uh, or you know, one of the, the best players out there, uh, you know, one of the many great competitive players in our community. Um, and he runs a really efficient bunch every year. And as you guys know, I'm a pretty big quarters match guy. And uh, one thing that I was noticing as I was playing quarters against him was that my coverage was kind of glitching out. Um, and it was in particular with a motion that he was using. So let's go ahead and break it down here out of the gun bunch. Um, and I'm gonna call quarters. It could be really out of anything you want. I'll just go ahead and call it out of uh, nickel normal. So let's go ahead and do this here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the ball with the bunch to the wide side of the field. And what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, basically set up a motion snap uh, where we basically let the outside receiver sit. So we're going to motion him to the outside and we're going to put him on an out route and let him set. And what ends up happening is when this motion occurs, rather than sinking off of this short outbreaking route, Jalen Ramsey is going to match the short five yard out route, which is going to leave our corner wide open. Um, so you're gonna see here how this works. He's gonna bite down on it, and then we're gonna throw this corner out out to the sideline. And Brady got to throw out a sack right there, but uh, obviously you can tell that that throw was gonna be complete. Um, so this is kind of a troubling little setup here because um, the thing that is kind of crazy about it is that you have to let the guy set to get this rule set for quarters to um, basically activate. So when he's set, you're gonna get that manipulation that you're just gonna be able to rip this throw down and outside and rack it out of bounds, right? But let's go ahead and do that same motion concept. But this time, I'm not gonna let him uh, set. I'm just gonna motion snap him. So um, I motion Scotty Miller to the outside a few steps, snap the ball, and I go to throw it. Notice how Jalen Ramsey's right there to pick it off. So that's the small thing that makes a massive difference is just letting the guy set. You know, um, in general, whether or not the guy is set in his motion should not change how the rule set is applied. As soon as the guy is in motion to the outside, the rule set, the rule set should, uh, you know, not really uh, change versus, versus if he actually is setting his feet and turning. Um, but it does, uh, it just really does. So this nuance in knowing that my opponent can control what my outside DB does based off of, you know, snapping the ball now or waiting an extra second or two and that then it being actually wide open, that's such a major deal, such a major deal. And the problem is that this is something that um, when I started to do some digging on this, it's something that actually applies in darn near all formations in the game that you can create some sort of trips look against quarters with. Um, so say for instance that I was in the gun Y trips week and I wanted to uh, run something kind of similar, right? Um, so maybe we go with something like this with an out route to Scotty Miller. Uh, I'm not sure if the slot receiver is gonna pull Ramsey back, but with Scotty Miller all the way out wide and set, on the out route, let's see if it does the same thing. And lo and behold, it does. And it leaves it leaves the, the tight end wide open to the, the corner on that sale concept. Whereas, you know, if I were to uh, not be in a trips look at all, and I were to run, you know, just a, a regular bench concept, very similar to the one that I'm running right here, uh, you're not gonna get that same rule set applied. 
because now when we do it this way, you're gonna see, you know, the, the match quarters plays a different rule set because it's not trips. So this is actually something that um, is kind of, it's kind of tough to deal with. It really is kind of tough to deal with because uh, now you're gonna see here, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use the smoke screen. And you're gonna see that Jalen Ramsey against the smoke screen is smart, actually doesn't really match the correct route, but against an out route, he's all about staying on that guy the entire way so anytime you have an outside receiver in a trip set just put him on a five yard out route and this is going to end up uh causing that outside corner to basically not do anything and then that's going to leave this dude wide open it's just too late in the play he realizes what's wrong before he can get out there and do anything about it now it's not going to be much of a tip here against this because you're not going to know whether or not he's uh doing this manipulation to you from the offense perspective but the way that you're gonna counter this is you're gonna hit the e, protect the sticks. So Y and then left bumper. And that's going to, if you know that they just wanna spam a corner route and do something like this to you, at least with this, you're gonna get Jalen Ramsey to drop off the ball and then he'll be there. You know, when you go to throw that, he'll, he'll be, at least be able to turn and break on that throw. Now, there's different types of corner routes and different types of leverages. I might still be able to fit that throw underneath depending on the route combination. Um, so just kind of be advised that you know, just because you protect the sticks doesn't mean that he's going to react to the corner. Like I just showed right here, if I put a streak to Godwin, um, when I protect the sticks, Ramsey's really, really preoccupied with that. And that's going to leave this throw wide open. Um, so depending on the spacing of your formation, that's going to dictate how this how this plays. Now, let's go ahead and show you where protecting the sticks is actually really useful for you guys. So um, if I were to go ahead and get into quarters and I show you that play that we started the video off with, which was the Z spot and go. Um, and we were to run the same route combo with the streak, the corner and the flat. And we do this motion. Now what you do is you wait to see if they're letting the guy set. He has to set first. And then what you're gonna do is hit Y left bumper. And now when the ball's snapped, you've got a guy who's gonna wait out there and be able to pick off that corner route for you. So um, as it pertains to defending the formations you'll most often see like bunch, um, that is the count. Um, and again, you're going to know whether or not your opponent is a motion snap or a motion and set before snapping type of player. If he's this guy, you don't have to ever worry about protecting the sticks because Ramsey's not going to bite on that. Um, but if he starts to get keen to that, knows he, that you're running match and knows this rule, he's going to do this to you. Your opponent's going to do this to you once or twice a game. And, you know, after the first time, you should just basically what I'm saying is pay attention. If they're turning and setting and they beat you on that route combo, the second time they turn and set, you ought to be ready to protect the sticks. So that way, you know, the only throw that they can really make is this little out route on the sideline. Uh, and then even then, if you wanted to, you can still, um, you know, when you protect the sticks, for instance, if you wanted to shade underneath against this uh, to tell your seam flat to play a, or your quarter flat to play a hard flat, now you're playing a protect the sticks with a hard flat coverage on the outside. At least he'll get out there and try to defend that. I mean, it's still a, a tight throw out there. Not a lot of rack potential, obviously, but the corner route nonetheless won't be open. So for those players out there that you constantly face that are gonna be doing this concept, my recommendation is once you see the cursor light up under this guy, you hit Y and then you pay attention if they let him set as soon as you see him turn and set you hit left bumper that way once he sets they snap the ball and it's nothing about what they expected uh, you're gonna have you know that throw bracketed to the sideline so um there you guys have it that's today's video it's a great quarters manipulation uh and obviously a, a great counter that uh you guys will be able to use when you come across it this is going to be something that i think uh you're going to see a lot against match coverage a lot of players out there still struggle with match and they're desperate to find any way to manipulate it. This is a great way to do that, but also has a very, very simple way to counter it. And your opponent's gonna be in a very specific route combination to try to manipulate it, which plays back into your favor. So therein lies that little bit of that meta chess game that I always talk about, you know, uh, when I talk about a vault tip. Uh, in fact, this was a vault tip some odd weeks ago. Um, I always talk about showing you what the pros are doing, but most importantly, showing you guys how to counter those metas when you face them. That's not just lip service, that's the truth. It's all about showing you guys, hey, this is what's really effective out there. And then here's the tip that a lot of people don't actually know that goes to stop this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you guys hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel so you guys know when I upload five times a week, Monday through Friday, in the late morning to early afternoon. 
uh, definitely check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Madden as well. And hopefully I'll see you guys over on Gridiron Game Plans. Again, guys, $9.95 a month unlocks the entire website. Hopefully I'll see you guys there with this week's Vault Update. Got some more great quarters content coming. Not only how to beat it, but also how to counter those beaters as well. If I don't see you guys in the Vault Update, I'll see you guys right back here with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.